Excuse me. Background on the white bar owner who committed suicide after the lynch mob came for him for killing a black attacker in self-defense amid the George Floyd riots back in May, I think, while protecting his bar and his father. This is the end of hour one of the Jesse Lee Peterson Show, Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. I am James Hake with Hake News, not fake news. Jesse Lee Peterson will be right back. Stay tuned for hour two. Jake Gardner is the Omaha bar owner who committed suicide after the lynch mob came for him. I mentioned toward the end of the Hake report yesterday, Monday, Trump supporter commits suicide after getting caught in the left's injustice system. That was from Revolver.News and the Gateway Pundit. Heavy reports Omaha, Nebraska bar owner Jake Gardner took his own life Sunday, September 20th, according to his attorneys, after being indicted on felony, I mean on phony charges, really, in the self-defense shooting of 22-year-old black male named James Skurlock back May 30th during the violent riots nationwide after George Floyd overdosed on fentanyl and had meth in his system and laid under the knees of the Minneapolis police uh, in Minnesota who'd called an ambulance for him. Backstory, Gardner was protecting his bar, which was destroyed along with other businesses. Wikipedia reports that his father had been punched and knocked to the ground, and he himself was tackled. Gardner let rioters know rioters know that he had a gun. Skurlock jumped on Gardner's back and put him in a chokehold. Gardner shot the black criminal in the clavicle, the collarbone, and the young violent male died in the hospital. Douglas County Attorney Doug Don Klein found the shooting justifiable self-defense, even demonstrating exculpatory video evidence to the people in a little conference. But Black Lives Matter is evil. The black leftist lynch mob wasn't happy. Tucker Carlson reported on Fox News yesterday that a crowd of agitators showed up to the DA's house outside. Sounds threatening, huh? Also among the bloodthirsty mob were Skurlock's criminals' relatives, uh, attorney and a light-skinned, fat, black guy, State Senator Justin Wayne, as as well as a 34-year-old white female bisexual single mother who's also somehow a state senator, Megan Hunt. So after consulting with elected officials who represent predominantly black neighborhoods, this DA, Don Klein, later asked for a grand jury and a black radical special prosecutor, Frederick Franklin. By the way, over 100 misguided artists painted murals of the dead criminal, Skurlock, in multiple locations in Omaha, Nebraska. The property owners evicted Jake Gardner from his downtown business locations. He owned two places next door to each other. Even the dude's favorite band betrayed him. I don't know if his favorite, but Nick Hexum, the lead singer of the 90s band 311, spoke out against the shooting, saying the man who committed the shooting in self-defense was a longtime fan. Gardner's bar, The Hive, displayed 311 paraphernalia, and they performed there. The band tweeted a Black Lives Matter statement with Skurlock's GoFundMe saying their hearts break for James Skurlock, who was killed while protesting, which is a lie, right? And they accused Gardner of hatred and bigotry with no evidence. Literally blaming the victim. No loyalty to their fans or real justice. What a disgrace. The lead singer Nick Hexum's tweeted statement was even worse. Falsely accusing Gardner of a senseless act of violence and crying racism where there was none. So just outrageous. Evil, lying, make your head swim. The suicide. The grand jury indicted him September 15th on four counts, including manslaughter, attempted first degree assault, use of a firearm, and terror threats. <laughs> Gardner was set to turn himself in on September 20th, this past Sunday, but he shot himself outside a medical clinic in suburban, way over in Portland, Oregon. I don't know if he was on the run, but he had been evicted, you know. Local police found the 38-year-old just after noon dead. His attorney, Stu Dornan, said that the former Marine, he was a former Marine, had sustained two traumatic brain injuries while serving tours in Iraq early in that war. In that war. And the white bisexual single mother, Megan Hunt's, She's the one who's, who Tucker reported tweeted, Jake Gardner is gone, but the white supremacist attitudes that emboldened him are still with us today. Disgusting, huh? I'm James Hake. Now on to Hour 2 with Jesse Lee Peterson.